Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys a beginner's After Effects tutorial. This one is going to be a little bit more in-depth than my last one since the last one was uh, a little bit confusing. And I'm going to be going over all the keybinds and exactly how to edit in After Effects and how to make your very first montage in After Effects. So go ahead and just click this new project button. And that was just a project I was working on before. Hit new composition and make sure it's 1920 by 1080 60 fps and then the duration to be at least two minutes you can go ahead and copy that if you want and just hit ok now i'm gonna go get my clips so the clips i'm gonna be using is just whatever you want uh... but yeah so i'm gonna go look for some clips so just drag your clips into this little empty area as well as your song so i'm gonna go, and go ahead and get my song you can just drag that in and then the first thing you want to do is drag the song in and then to see the waveform, you drop down all these menus right here, these arrows, these three arrows, and then you go to the first beat. And to zoom in, you use Alt and zoom in your scroll wheel, and then put a keyframe right before the beat. And then you can also, to navigate to be exact, is page down and page up to go frame by frame. So page down would be forward and page up will be backwards. And then you can go ahead and just leave it like that. And then add in your very first clip. So go ahead and drag that in and trim it up using the end of the clip and dragging it in like most editing softwares. And then go find where the kill is. So the kill for me is like right here. And then you can, if yours is on full right here, switch it to quarter. And it will make it way run way smoother. It's not going to export like that. That's just how it plays back. And you can have adaptive resolution if you want. Uh, but that's just what I have so see how it pixelates when I move through frames it makes it smoother playback through frames So now it looks like that so now you can go ahead and just apply animation and apply the Velocity so you can go ahead and mess around with this velocity is time warp. You don't need any plugins for this uh, But you do need the sapphire plugins for the uh, remaining of everything else like the impact and the transitions but you can go ahead and just mess around with these so I'll just put this to 650, make it a little bit faster, make my velocity slower, and just adjust it however you want. You can even make your own. So uh, this is a piece that I provide, so it will help you guys out. Figure so out. Money, so the next thing you can do is uh, right click in any empty space, so like right over here, and add an adjustment layer. So what adjustment layer allows you to do is have a layer with effects without it being on the actual clip. So you can go ahead and copy and paste your impacts. So go, you can just go ahead and apply animation preset and then the impact. And then you go to the very end keyframe and hit control shift D to split your clips, by the way. Control shift D and now you have your uh, things trimmed. So you can go ahead and find the hi-hat, which the hi-hat for me is right here. And this is where all transi our transition will be. So I'll go ahead and put that there. And then put my next clip. So for the next clip, you can just go ahead and find your next beats. So this is a beat where we'll have a beat shake at. So we can go ahead and just click that. And make another beat right there. And then the final beat. Which will be right here. So we'll go ahead and sync this up before we do the transition. So we'll go ahead and push this down to trim it. And then we can go ahead and add another adjustment clip, new adjustment layer, and we can go ahead and trim it 15 frames before the second frame. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And then 15 frames after 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And then just go ahead and delete these other with backspace and then drag in Blurmo curves. So with Blurmo Curves, you can also use Transform, but I'm just going to use Blurmo Curves since it has like a blur to it, like when you when it does like the the movement. So go and just keyframe Z distance on the second frame and the first frame of the second clip, and then keyframe the Z distance on the frame of the first clip, the last frame of the first clip. And then go back 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And then go forward on this other keyframe right here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 
and make a keyframe. Now we can go and head and go to this keyframe, the last keyframe on the last clip, on the first clip, and go ahead and set this to 0 0.65. So it's going to zoom in like that. It's going to look pretty cool. And then go over here and make sure you're on reflect, wrap Y, wrap X on reflect, and put this at 1.15. So now it's going to kind of zoom in from the outer. So it's going to look like this. It's going to look really slow. But what we can do is graph this. So go ahead and hit F9 on that. And then go into the graph by clicking Z distance right here and graph. So for this graph, what we're going to do is bring this one up right here. And then bring this one to touch the, this other handle to touch that. And then so see how this went faster. It didn't go faster to the end. And then this side still goes in slow. So what we can do is bring this down and then bring this one so it's touching the other knob. So now it's more steeper, but goes faster. So it should look like this. And you can go and uh, play around with this if you want it to, to be a little bit slower. You can go ahead and like bring these down. But that's your that's your choice. So I'm going to try out these settings. I think I like that. So... Then I can go ahead and get rid of that, or go exit the graph by clicking the graph button right there. And then I can work on my second clip by copy and pasting my velocity, which I can go down here, select all these keyframes, control C, and then I can go into this and control V. So now I have the exact settings I messed around with over in there, and uh, line it up with the... I don't know why there's delete that marker. Okay, then line it up with this keyframe right there. Then now I have the velocity for the second. Clip. So it's gonna pre-render, take a bit to pre-render, and that's just how it looks like. Next, you can go ahead and copy and paste the impact, which is nice about adjustment clips, and line it up. And then the final thing we're gonna do is add beat shakes and sound effects. So. To this, you can go and add, and add a new adjustment clip and then trim it up like so. And then make it a little bit smaller than the impact. And then go ahead and apply another preset, which will be the beat shake. And it should look like that. And now you can just go and copy and paste it to every beat or you want it to be on. So I'm just going to pre this and show you guys. So it's going to be like kind of distorted audio, but that's just how After Effects is with it. So now it looks like this. Oh, I messed up the beats right here. So uh, this marker was supposed to be on this other beat over here. So like right here. So now it should look like this. Okay, and now for the sound effects. I'll go ahead and link the sound effects in the description below. My recording software just crashed for some reason. Uh, but yeah, so go ahead and just uh, download the sound effects. So I'm going to be using is uh, the pump sound effect. So I'll go ahead and... So the first clip is a regular... Or is a gold pump, and the second one's a regular pump. So I'll go ahead and go to my sound effects folder. And I'll go ahead and put the two... I'll link to sound effects, pump sound effects. Uh, the first one will be just the regular pump, and then the sp uh, the spaz sound effect. And then this the normal one, this the normal pump. So we'll just drag that in. And then what I like doing is lowering the the uh, the audio of the clips. So go ahead and just go to the audio, drop down, and put it at negative eight is what I like to do. Or if it's not very loud audio, you can put it at negative eight. If it's louder, you can keep adjusting the settings. But then I'll go ahead and drag this regular pump sound effect right here, the very first kill, like that, and then bring the other one since it's just a regular pump. Oh shoot! Since it's just a regular pump to the next kill. So now it should look like this. <laughs> And if the beat shakes are like cutting out, I think it's because I didn't give it enough frames. So go ahead and stretch those out more until the keyframes end. So. 
and you can go ahead and raise the pump shot volume on the normal pump one because it is pretty quiet you can keep raising it up so you can probably trim that up like so and then make this one louder too since this is a little bit of a louder song you can make that louder So that was pretty much it for the beginning of After Effects store. There wasn't anything crazy since it's just for beginners. But if you do want to get into more of that uh, better stuff like build-ups and stuff, go ahead and check out all my Skin Glow tutorials. All my recent ones, they're pretty good. So go ahead and check that out if you want to learn more than just impacts, transitions, and velocity. Uh, but yeah, make sure to subscribe and like. Also join my Discord server in the description if you do need any help. And uh, see you guys in the next video.